Koko, whose Japanese name, Hanabiko, means fireworks child, was born on the 4th of July in 1971 at the San Francisco Zoo. Koko's first few months of life were not easy. She became very ill and had to be cared for in the zoo's nursery. As Coco grew stronger, Penny considered a revolutionary idea. The young doctoral student in the psychology department at Stanford University wanted to work with Coco. She proposed that a gorilla could learn to speak with humans using sign language. My initial expectation was that I would work with her about four years and then I would get my degree and move on. After the first few evenings trying to leave her, I couldn't, I couldn't put her down. So I ended up staying with her until she was asleep. Over the years, Penny's passion for Project Coco has never wavered. People ask, do you have any kids? And I said, no, I have three gorillas. They think that I'm insulting my children, but those, my children are gorillas, I'm sorry. <laughs> and that's probably the way I would have written it if I had complete control over the outcome of my life.